Hey guys, so in today's video, I am going to show you how I deck a motorcycle head. This particular head is from a RMK 800. It's a, as you can see, two cylinder Rotax motor. Comes in a snowmobile. But some reasons for as why you would need to deck your head would be um, that you overheated your engine and your head is slightly warped. Another reason people deck their heads is to gain some compression um, by reducing the volume inside the combustion area in the cylinder dome. So first thing I did is I already went ahead, cleaned the surface and I machined these little areas flat as they can be with the top surface of the head. So we have a known uh, datum from which we can work from. Um, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my height stand here with my um, dial indicator and I'm going to check the flatness of this head to see if, um, well, roughly how much material needs to be, be removed. In this case, the customer wants to gain some power in his engine by increasing his compression. So we're going to do that, but just as good practice, I'm going to see where we are working. Now I have my dial indicator set at zero and it's a little bit tough to do with one hand, but I'm going to move this head, which is standing on this granite table. Um, it's a good surface, a must have in any machine shop to measure from. And since the, the as you can see, not perfectly flat. In the y-axis um, we're looking at about roughly five thousandths out of flatness here and um, off camera I'll do a more thorough check but just to show you guys as a rough example of how we go about this can see that this head is all over the place. So the next step is going to be setting it up in our CNC machine and we're going to cut it flat. So I have gone ahead and set up this head on these precision blocks and the head is now flat to the surface that was machined flat to as flat as this head can be, um, if that makes any sense. Um, in this type of situation, I don't have specialized fixturing for heads, so you have to kind of get creative with holding it, but I have used this method before and I am certain that it is going to yield good results. Anyways. I have now set up the indicator inside the machine which will basically tell us the same thing as I have gotten at the granite table but this is um, the best method in this scenario because this is the way it's going to get machined. So I'm going to move it now along the Y axis and you all will be able to see as you can see there's roughly you know minus 3000 plus 3000 along the y and 
we can move it along the x-axis. Sorry about the noise, but this is a machine shop and we can see along the x-axis we are about, you know, 5,000 out of flatness. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to set up my makeshift fly cutter and we are going to machine this head perfectly flat. I set up this boring head as a fly cutter and now we're making the first cut. Completed the first cut and it makes for a great visual of how warped this head was. Now we're just going to continue removing material um, until the head is once again perfectly flat. So here's the head out of the machine. Looks good. What's most important is that we are at zero all the way across and all the way up which we are um, but now the head is ready to be assembled back together in the engine and it will partially work to restore the compression once had with no leaks a perfect mating surface um, so this is my video how to I guess on how to resurface a cylinder head the process varies of course all heads are designed differently but you know with a machine shop anything is possible and considering that you of course need the crack tools but if you can't do it yourself, feel free to send it my way. I'll get it taken care of for you. And also stay tuned, guys. I'm working on another video in which I rebuild a four-stroke cylinder head and replace the valve seats, valve guides, and the entire valve train. I think it should be pretty interesting, I hope. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, inquire about my services. I'd be happy to take care of any small engine needs for you guys. I appreciate it very much. Have a blessed day.